gano Somo somo Soya soya Modinjo modemma I am so happy that you are here. I have been worried since it's beginning to appear as if to say I am failing in my duty to read my friend's will. I am equally confused, Barrister. But let me first inform you that we have finally made peace in the family. Wonderful. <laughs> Splendid indeed. Yeah. This is all I desire so that I can come in and read the will. Oh, but we are. As a matter of fact, that is why I am here. You see, the elders in the family believe that Papa acted in error, contrary to tradition. I don't get it. Well, even though you have not read the will, I can assure you that Papa willed all his properties to us, the women. I'm not surprised. I am not. What has tradition and anger got to do with that? Well, according to tradition, Papa is not supposed to will his properties to the women. If Papa had not been angry with Jonathan, I can assure you he would have willed everything to him. Do not take them seriously. You and I know that traditions are dynamic. The only thing that remains permanent is change. Why are you even listening to them? Barrister, I am trying everything in my power to ensure that we maintain the peace that has been achieved in the family. I, I, I don't want, I don't want trouble. Let me tell you something. That is the more reason you should abide by the way. We can do this in peace. Or we can do it in pieces No matter how you look at it The real truth is It's mine, mine forever What is it? He drove past your property without slowing down to take proper look at it Oh, that shopping complex? My father built it more than 15 years ago I've seen it more than a million times. So what's the need stopping to look at it now? Especially now that it belongs to my sisters. Until they change their minds. Uncle Norbert promised to make them handle your inheritance to you. So you want me to hold a gun over his head until he fulfills his promise? It's wisdom to strike when the iron is hot. It's also wisdom to exercise patience in such delicate matters as this. What are you afraid of? What am I afraid of? You. Me? Yes, you. I'm afraid you'll push me and my sisters into another clash. I can hear the voice of a coward. Cowardice is also a virtue sometimes. On your job now. Oh, Pasaroya! I don't want it. I don't want it. I don't want it. I don't want it. But there's a new nebula. I don't want it. I don't want it. I don't want it. I don't want it. But there's a new Is in there. Jonathan. Uncle. Why are you standing out? Standing outside. But you didn't tell me you are coming. I thought you were not in the house. I don't go anywhere these days. You know, you give me enough to take care of me throughout the months. <laughs> How about your family and your sisters? Oh, they are all fine. You see, I just came to thank you for all you did for us during the burial. Just that? Yeah. So you drove all the way to this place just for this? You are a considerate boy, Jonathan. Ah, please come here. Let me find you something to drink. I even brought drinks for you. Yes, I brought drinks for you. I'm, um, I, don't, I don't really have time. Will you accompany me to see the priest? I want to thank the parish priest. <laughs> Will I? 
Can you remind an old man like me to come and do my work? To do my job? Is it near? I want to remind you that I'm taking my time to get those documents from Norita. Oh, the property deed? Yes. Norita is a good girl. And I know she will talk to herself and also to her sisters to do the right thing. <laughs> right thing. Right thing. Uncle, I like you. You always talk about the right thing. Yes. At this age, I must always insist on the right thing. Not just saying it. Doing the right thing. Not just saying it. All right, let's go. Let's go. I'll drive you home, Uncle. Yes. The doctor says it's good for my age. Alright. You manage this. <laughs> manage? Yes. You are spoiling me, really spoiling me with money. Hey! Uh, may God bless you. Amen. God bless you, my son. Amen. And be sure that I will always ensure that the right thing is done at all times. And one good thing you will do for me is this. Take good care of your sisters. Do the right thing. Take good care of them. Just the way your father would have done. I'll do that, Uncle. I'll do that. Don't worry. Thank you, my son. Okay, Uncle, let me be on my way now. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's mine away. It's mine, mine forever. All mine, mine alone. It is mine, no matter what they say. No one can take no. What's mine away? It's mine. All mine. I'm so glad that peace has finally returned to this family. Hmm, brother, well, I've never left the house. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not talking about you as peace. I'm talking about peaceful coexistence that we now enjoy. So now we will live in peace and not in pieces. Exactly. Keep the place warm with peace, love and happiness. Yes. I'm sure that Ezenia, wherever he is, he will be so happy. To show my own personal commitment, to show that I am committed to this newfound peace, I won't talk much. Peace, mm -hmm. for you to prepare well for your National Youth Service Program, 200,000 naira. Wow, was that for me? Yes. Ah! <laughs> Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Ah, my original bigger brother. Yes. Mm. <laughs> Don't worry. If anybody looks at you anyhow in your orientation camp, or insults you, or even smiles in a way you don't like, one phone call, I will show them that you have a big brother in the house. Yes, boss. Chidi, you have always been a conscientious and reliable brother-in-law, and um, I've always admired your candor in the midst of storm. Just manage one million naira to reactivate your business. <laughs> it looks like we're going this way. And now, Adania. Your supermarket, hey. you, you have to uh, expand it. Manage 1.5 million. Hey! Chime! 
Father in heaven, I pray, I pray with all my heart that this newfound peace, this newfound peace is real and will last forever. May it last forever. Mm -hmm. hmm. Oh, I'm a nanka you Him and all day gym none. Because we know it's time to last now. I am real and everlasting. Everlasting peace. One point five million. Oh, here comes my rice. Oh, hey, hey, look, I will take this money, go to Abakaliki, and buy the original Abakaliki rice. You know, it's very nutritious and expensive. I'll, I'll eat too. Ah, it's not just eating, you know, I will supply you with the rice, and you will pay me. <laughs> hey, you're <take> <laughs> Hey, 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 now listen carefully to me. The young man came to Jesus, knowing him as the judge of the whole universe, and was asking Jesus to prevail on his elder brother to divide his father's inheritance with him. Praise the Lord, somebody. But Jesus Christ, beyond the expectation of this man, stunned him and said, who made me a judge over you and your elder brother? Are you trying to get something there? Jesus entirely left what primarily the kind of judgment the young man expected of him and was trying to let him deep deeper into understanding of what the scripture is all about. He said, who made me a judge over you and your elder brother? If you now go down the scripture, you will now see when he turned to the bread and he started telling them, he said, For a beware of covetousness. Now listen to me, brethren. Jesus Christ was trying to educate us that this simple letter word, covetousness, is a canker worm. It's a, in fact, it's a major canker worm that eating inside Christendom. Because it leads to all manners of argument, strife, anger, destruction. And ultimately death. Praise the Lord somebody. The Bible says, even in Luke, that we should beware of covetousness. Because a man's life consists not of the abundance of the things that we possess, but the ultimate salvation of your soul. Praise the Lord somebody. Just a dream. It was just a dream. A dream? The way you startled me from my sleep it looks like a nightmare. Not a nightmare, just more like a warning. Warning about what? Nothing to trouble anyone over. Let's go back to bed. Oh. 
Nkechi. <laughs> Did I tell you that the family lawyer called last night? He said that the um, shopping mall's um, rents are due. And he was wondering how and where to pay them in. Uh, they should pay it into Jonathan's account now. What? Why? Were you people not the ones that said Mr. Tradition demands that the male child inherits the landed properties? So? So, we should do what is right. Fulfill all righteousness. Let's do it. Nkechi, Edekwa Shaw. I don't know what I'm sure of anymore. It's just I'm tired of fighting. <laughs> that sounds strange coming from you. <laughs> it's not a strange one. Okay. I wonder what has come over you. <laughs> Change, they say, sister, is the only constant thing in life. That is what everybody says. Mm-hmm. No, get it. Look at this. Someone sent this. Oh my god. Are you serious? Hey, who sent it? Open. Imaraqua boy is in your phone. What we did will impact on future generations. The family will reap bountifully forever from this good way. Eh? Okay. Now tell me, has he been fulfilling his obligations to you guys? In fact, of course. Jonathan's change of heart is awesome. Even Hardline in Kichi has given her consent for the mall's uh, rent to be paid into his account. <laughs> God, I thank you. I thank you, God. Norita, look up. If God will open your spirit's eyes, you will see your father smiling and showing gratitude. Oh, the wish of every man is that his children remain united even years after he is gone. It's all thanks to you, Uncle. <laughs> you are too modest. You are the woman of virtue. You have midwife peace into the family. <laughs> but why are you laughing? <laughs> Uncle, I imagine what peace would have said to those lines if she were here. <laughs> oh, just that. <laughs> uh, well, thank you. I will keep this uh, this in my custody. Oh, please, Uncle, on no account should you hand over those deeds to Jonathan or anyone else. Please. We're going to take the decision much later on what to do. Okay. I've had you. Ada, I've had you. Hmm? Uh, seriously, babes, I envy you. I mean, Mike is a prospective young man with a bright future. Uh, a first class mechanical engineer at that. And I think you're lucky. Yeah, I overheard him talking with his friend. He said he doesn't want to remain in Chevron, that he wants to work in Chevron. And Chevron is even ready to pay him the double of what he gets from Chevron. Well, yeah. mm, seriously, I think he should stay here with Chevron. For me, I see no reason he should move on to Shelburne. Yes. Yeah, I think they can pay him well as well. Yeah, he said he doesn't want to remain in Shell, that uh, he wants to work with Chevron. And since Chevron is ready to pay his price, let's just leave him to live out his choice. Yeah, he's a man. He knows what he wants. Yeah, you're right there. But seriously, babes, I think you're lucky. First, graduating and moving into a man's house and not even any other anyhow man but the dream of every young woman i think you're lucky <laughs> just pro promise we are not married yet and yeah <laughs> uncle says the wedding bell is not ringing because i can hear it ringing oh, maybe you're right i'm lucky but seriously tell me how many young girls of our badge were able to get a man to propose to them and here you are telling me there isn't any wedding yet <laughs> Girl, I think you're lucky. Yeah, maybe you're right. I'm lucky. Thank you. Don't worry, yours will come soon. Mm -hmm. 
Wow. Amen. I claim that. <laughs> okay. Oh, ladies. Maybe. Sorry, I kept you. Are we ready to go now? Yeah, we yeah, are. The okay. apology is accepted. Right. Let's go. Yeah. Let me get my shoes. Okay. Thanks. Uh -huh. Maybe um trying my best to see if I can be retained in Shell here after my youth service. Like, I really want it. I have a feeling you'll be there. Oh, really? Yeah. My instincts are always right. Wow. I I will be the happiest girl if that happens. Like, very happy. So it's going to be two people, a husband and wife, walking in all your companies. And that will be my dream come true. Well, even if they fail to return you, with my influence and the connections in Chevron, I can secure your appointment with Chevron. No, baby, I don't want Chevron. I want Shell. Most, we both work in the same firm. Okay, what if I change my mind? Not to leave Shell for Chevron. What would you do? I already know your mind is made up. I aren't going back to your decisions. I know you. Well, I didn't even know. You're already at your place. Maybe I really wish to spend the rest of the night with you. Yes, baby, let's go in there, spend the night with me. You're most welcome, and you know, it's your house, too. Yeah. With charity there? Yeah, charity understands. Maybe charity is a part of this relationship, and you know that. Don't worry, baby. Again. <laughs> what happened? Just calm down and tell me everything that has happened, okay? Dirty. Please, do, do, do I look like someone under a cause? Not at all. You are not under any cause, okay? I think you are the envy of all your mates. So tell me what happened. Something is telling me I am under a cause. <laughs> Come on, stop all this costing and tell me what actually happened. <laughs> Mike. Yes, what about Mike? What happened to Mike? Mike just got off the engagement. Jesus. Said he's no more interested in marrying me. What happened and why will he take such a rash decision at this hour? Try to be that this has become part of my life. This is not the first time it's happening. This is not the second time. Clarity, this is the third time. <laughs> Once a man proposes to me, he will wake up one morning and act like someone who was lured into the relationship. Clarity, our relationship will be Romeo and Juliet. No problems. No fault dictations. But I don't know why after proposing to me, he, he will wake up one morning and act like someone who was lured into it. Imagine my own Mike. My own Mike looking into my eyes today to tell me he's no more marrying me. I don't know. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Tell me what happened. What did you do to him and why will he change his mind? His charity, nothing. He said his instincts told him that I'm not his wife. That's just it. Good. Okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Come on, girlfriend. One thing I know is when your own husband comes up the thing, you will know, okay? So wipe away your tears and believe that your husband is still on the way. You don't have to cry over little things like this, okay? So share up, okay? Charity, how am I sure this is not going to continue happening to me like this? Oh, God forbid. How would you say such a thing? It will never be your fortune, okay? As God, as far as there is God in heaven, I know your own man is on the way. 
and at the appointed time, you will meet him. how tough and rough it is. We thank God we are able to succeed. Some people died during your service, you know. So we give God the glory for you. Yes, you're right, brother. It, was, it wasn't easy at all. It was stressful. My dear, nothing good comes easy. Especially for the daughter of the great chief, isn't it? Yes. So peace. The only thing remaining for you now is to look for work, eh? How can she be looking for work when she can work in Eden Naya's company where you are in charge? That's true. That's true. I have to look for how to create space for her. Brother, I have been retained in the great company where I serve. Really? But they said they need a compensation from me, from us, all of us. Compensation? Yes. What do they, they mean by that? They said they need the sum of 500,000 naira from us. It's not only me, it's everybody. 500,000 naira? For what? It's oil company, it's small company. They need something from us now before they, 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 they give us food. Wait, wait, wait. Is that the way it's done now? But that's how they do it though. It's everybody, not only me, it's everybody. Oh, oh. You have to give them 500,000 naira for them to employ you. Yes. Mm. Baby, let me see you inside. Let me see you inside. Let me see One night. Where have you heard of someone paying a bribe of 500,000 naira for a job that is not guaranteed? My dear, that's the new trend in the country now. They call it a compensation fee. A matter like that is still within the National Assembly for debate. They're investigating it. You know, the person who is looking for work will pay and compensate the person inside who is helping him or her to get a job. Nonsense. This is nonsense! Bribe is bribe. This one is a fraud. Well, it's the oil company where she served for a year. So she must know their inner workings. I'm sure she trusts them. Trust? Trust? Jonathan, did you say trust? You're kidding me! You are a man! Wake up! It's just like throwing money into the ocean! Yeah, well you know, I would love my sister to work in an oil company. They pay well and their money is guaranteed. But come to think of it, you may have a point there. Even a fool can see the point. Who is the fool now? Me or them? No, baby. They want to fool her. To rob you. Fool her? Rob you? You have a point. These people are rogues. They are... Oh my God. So she can watch. Right. Give it to them just like that. 
This is incredible. Totally unacceptable. I mean, Jonathan is supposed to be a changed man. What has come over him? But that Jonathan may be willing to change. But that Jezebel he calls a wife will change him back to whatever she desires, according to her whims and caprices. And you know that. Nkechi, won't you say something? When someone keeps quiet, it's either she doesn't have anything to say or too much to say. So, Giniki, what have you said? Nothing. Was it not you that advised that we should pay him the proceeds of the shopping mall rent into his account? Shopping mall rent? The rent, oh! 2.1 million naira. Oh my god. So, Brother Jonathan has that kind of money and he was giving me lectures over bad economy. Eh? Okay, no problem. Me, I think Jonathan is in some kind of fix. What kind of fix? Iwachibegon, what kind of fix? I don't know. I, I can't explain. I, I just can't. I can't. After I explained to Brother Jonathan that the oil company wants to be me, his wife took him inside, and by the time they returned, I couldn't recognize my brother again. I could not. What do you mean by that? He acted like someone under a spell. His argument was Esau's voice. Jacob's hand, and it was obvious. Did you hear that? You all seem to be forgetting that I was the one that said we should treat this Jonathan's change of character with a pinch of salt. You, you've all forgotten. Oh, was it not the same you, Ndiwabi Fanoa, that suggested we pay the proceeds of the of the mall, 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 mall rent into his account? Upright. I did, but that was based on what I perceived as a revelation. Revelation or no revelation? <laughs> Jonathan must bring out the money. And if that Jezebel of a wife tries to stand in my way, <laughs> oh, I will show her that I'm the mother of this house. Agme me ife. Where is my brother? My husband is busy. And where do you think you're going? You people should have heard. Kill him and eat him. Kill him. Where do you think you're going? So, so this is where you're hiding. Me? Eh? Hiding? Why should I hide? Say it. How would a man be hiding in his own house? I wonder. You were hiding. Because you knew I was going to come after you. How much? How much of our money was paid into your account in the name of tradition and peace? That is not the issue at this point in time. Oh! I, I think they want to dupe her and I, I don't think it's proper that... Nobody no, no, is duping her. For your information, it has become our way of life to ask for gratification for a blue chip job. Everybody is paying. Let me tell you something. It is a good opportunity to have that kind of job. And if you let this opportunity slip by because of what your stupid no, wife does, no, no. don't even mention my name. Ask for my father. If he has money to throw away, let him go ahead and throw it away. I don't have any money to throw away. Who is talking about your money? I am talking about our, our nature, our money. His inheritance, not your money. What inheritance? Show me anything I'm about. Yes, okay. Hold this your wife. Hold this your wife. Before I do something, I will regret. Loretta, please, relax. Calm down, let's... Why are you, why are you upset? Leave her, leave her alone! Leave her alone, let her do whatever she wants! No, 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 no! Well, I did this, I don't want to wait! You will marry from the village! I want you! I want you! Let me tell you what I'm saying! 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 Let
Oh, those witches have gone to work on him. They are my baby sisters, not witches. Darling, I think I have to find a way to get that money. Please, try and understand. Try and understand what? What you don't understand? By the time you give them that money, their next demand will be higher. Very soon they will wreck you. Don't forget they are still with the deal. We have made peace. Okay? We made peace. Uncle Norbert broke up the peace. If people have made peace like you clean, why are they still in possession of the deed? Why? Think. Think. Maybe think. Think like a smart man. My darling, I'm not that foolish. Now what makes you think that they still have the deed? What makes you think they still have the deed? Huh? <laughs> I said it before that the reason God keeps an elder in the family is to make sure that the children do not mistake um, the vulture for a kite. Eh? Now, we fought very hard to have peace in this world. And now somebody is mistaking a, a, a vulture for a kite. Thereby threatening the peace. Uncle, I will not beat about the bush. Jonathan here is the one threatening the peace. He's, he's being teleguided by that stupid, hopeless village wife. Loretta, leave my wife out of this. She has nothing to do with anything. Leave her out of this matter. Brother, that's not true. Your wife is the one behind all this. She took you away right before me, and by the time you returned, everything changed. She's the one. Will you keep quiet? Huh? Will you keep quiet? Uncle, I simply told her that I cannot pay that money to dupes. Those guys are fraudsters. Uh -huh. Yes. Jonathan, you're the fraud here. Argue for the fraud. Did you tell Uncle how your wife beat me out of your house? Ibalia? You, you started it. Mwah! Jonathan. Jonathan, is this really you speaking? Is this really you speaking or there's somebody are speaking through you? Or one yourself, or when they speak through you, Keta? And Keti, I will pretend that I didn't hear you say. It's okay, it's okay, my children. Jonathan, um, all your sisters cannot be wrong. Huh? You see, half a million naira, yes, it's a big amount of money. But I am sure you're above it. Let's go in the interest of peace and harmony, which all of us work hard to achieve in the family. Uncle, with huh? due respect, I would gladly give that money for a true cause, not to fraud stars. Jonathan, once again, you are the fraud. You keep calling them fraud stars because you, you, you want to hijack your wife who is behind all the atrocities that you've been committing in this family. Uncle Noba, this case, you want this case, Inka? The very simple, very, very simple case. I don't want us to beat about the bush and I don't want us to gather again all in the name of making peace and talking about money. Mba. Let us abide by Papa's will. Shikina. Okay. And like they say, to your tent, O Guinea, Israel. Israel. Come on, come on. Don't try now. Come on. Shut up. Shut up. What, what will are you talking about? Eh? Papa, what has he What will are you be talking about? That will no longer subsists. Eh? It is null and void and of no effect. Hello, sir. Yeah, I want to activate the deeds I gave you. All rents, I repeat, all rents must be paid directly into my account. What about your father's lawyer, sir? That's part of the brief I'm giving you now. So it's your job now to inform him that he's out of the picture. You are running the show from now on, okay? His returnership is hereby terminated. Oh. 
Okay, um, thank you very much. Sir. I will soon interaction with you. Thank you once again for letting me run the ship. Barrister, we would like you to give us a date for the execution of Father's will. At last? I hope there's no problem. Because all the rent money that I collected, I pay them into your brother's account as you instructed. Yes. There's no problem, Barrister. None at all. Okay. You fix a date with your brother and family observers, let me know. Mm -hmm. um, truth is, Barrister, that um, our brother is not, um, was never interested in the will. He called the will useless. Jonathan called my father's will useless. Don't you worry. We will disregard him. I will not formally read the will. Basically what I have to do is to appropriate to each one the property in the will. Just a change of name and ownership. Alright? So, could you give me the deed your father gave you? Oh sure. Uh, yeah. Um, will day after tomorrow be okay? Yes. I'll get them across to you. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Wow. <laughs> what a relief. Yeah, what a relief. Yes, my daughter. I still insist we need more wisdom and patience to handle these issues. If peace must remain in the family. No problem, Uncle. I understand. And I think Nkechi was right when she said that the will should be read so that the properties would be shared according to Papa's desire. I mean, that way there will be peace. Because nobody would be asking the other person for anything. Papa was wise in making that decision. I know, I know, my daughter. But you agreed with me that observing the traditions of our people guarantees peace. That was why you ordered the lawyer to pay the rest money into his account. And that is the wisdom inspected of an elder, which you are. I am proud of you. Thank you, Uncle. But unfortunately, he doesn't understand. And that is why I'm here to collect the documents. Sorry? No, I'm here to collect the documents that I gave you. Documents. Mm, Loretta, I am sorry. They're no longer with me. Uncle, I don't understand. So, so where are the documents? I mean, who did you give them to? Uncle? Oh my God. I trusted you, Uncle. You made me trust you. You make my heart bleed, my daughter. Uncle, you promised you were not going to give him those documents. Your word should be your bond. You've always said that, that at your age, you would always do what is right. True, my daughter. Heaven knows that I thought I was doing the right thing. After the peace meeting, the settlement, and I have that you have instructed the lawyer to pay the rent the, into his account, I hear the sigh of relief. Peace and harmony was resident in the family. So I did the right thing. Also, I thought then. That was not enough, Uncle. I told you not to give him those papers. Uncle, you have failed me. When he came for them, I had had I will give all of you money to expand your businesses. I did the right thing. I will not listen to you today, Uncle. Maybe some other time.
There's no other way uncle will explain it away. He won't dissolve himself. That's what I told him. And he said he thought he was doing the right thing. The right thing in his village and generation is not the right thing in our generation and cities today. Your father lived ahead of his generation. He did not allow the unprogressive traditions of his village to influence him. Uncle is not lying. He, he probably thought he was doing the right thing. But allowing the rent to be paid into his account, he consented to furnish him. Was it not your idea? I admit, but I told you why. This morning I had a one on one with Pastor Chris. Your dream was a true revelation from God. And because you acquitted of yourself very well by backing out, your obedience has been seen in heaven. But now that he has refused to change, you have the right to take back what your father gave to you. So Pastor, are you saying we should go ahead and execute the will? Ahead. But I see a battle. In fact, I see him already winning. But because you are a covenant child, by obeying the revelation that God showed you in the night, the Lord shall fight for you. Amen. I see the angels pulling you off from the cage Amen. and replacing you with that your enemy, of your enemy. Amen. Amen. The Lord shall fight for you Amen. and you shall hold your peace. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. So, sister, what are you going to do now? Jonathan has stepped on the head of a cobra, and he must be bitten. Honey. Oh. Baby, you're more smarter than I thought. Now we have them where we want them. Yeah, when I was working hard to take back what belongs to me, some people thought I was a fool. For once, you have proven to me that you're the true man I married. Now, let me see where those witches will come from. I told you my sisters are not witches. Okay, they are bitches. It's better we don't talk about them. Okay then, as long as I'm one of the top landladies in this city. <laughs> baby, my baby, my darling, I'll keep this document for safety. Trust me, darling. No, it's alright. No one can get my safety. The lawyer has uh, duplicates. Hmm. To add further to your card, there's this man when we see this document will make more sense. <laughs> I have something for you. A letter? Yeah. Uh, have a nice day. Uh, you too. by my client to inform me that now, hence, all payments on your turn has to be made to my chambers. 
You are no longer to pay to the former lawyer. Sincerely, Barrister E. E. Dab. Guinea! We're now tenants in our own house. Hey. No, 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 no. I think it's a mistake. I think so too. And I think it's a very bad joke for someone to make such monumental error. There's only one way to find out. How? Go to the chambers, of course. To do what? How? Come to think of it. I think this person is not a real lawyer. What do you mean? Look at it now. There's no uh, there's no telephone number attached to the letter. Hey, no, there's a, an address. If we go there now, the office will be empty. Nandoshi. Okay, we get there first. Let us go there. I know what I'm talking about. Hey! People have to go. Let me get it. Please, please. Hey! Hey! What, what kind of nonsense is this? Just like that? When are we meeting in court again? You mean they are joining the case again till next month? No, this case is taking too long. Uh -uh. Well, let me call you back. Let me call you. Good afternoon. Mr. Lawyer. We received your letter here from your chambers. And we believe that you have the wrong address there. Um, this um, letter, you made number 6 AB Avenue. That property belongs to my client. I say it's a lie. I say, I say, because number 6 AB is our private residence. I'm not tenancy. You know, go. You're getting me confused. Mm hmm. That property belongs to my client and he directed me to write to you the way I wrote to other tenants. Mr. Lawyer, let us try and find out exactly who's making a mistake. What is the name of your client? But if you insist, if you want to know, the name of my client is Mr. Jonathan Ezenia. What's the problem? What's wrong? You just passed into my office like that as if you paid the rent with me and you want to find out something. I've told you now. What is the problem? What's going on? <laughs> oh, yeah! <laughs> I'm so happy! I thought they were smart. Oh, Jonathan. I can see you are enjoying yourself. When everyone in the family is weeping, you are here laughing. My husband has no reason to weep. Shut up, woman! It's okay, my dear. Sorry. What's okay? Why would he come here and spoil our fun? It's all right. Just give me a moment. Let me tell you. Uh, a moment, sister. It's all right. Just give me a moment. Okay. Yeah, Uncle, I'm sorry. Please, I'm sorry for what she did. Please sit down, let's talk. I don't need your seat. You should rather be very sorry for yourself. You have disappointed everybody and betrayed me, your uncle. Don't mind those women, okay? You, you put them in their proper place. You protected tradition and culture. From now on, till the end of your life, I will make sure you don't suffer. Just hear yourself. I will rather to fear her. I will rather suffer than take anything from you again. Are you hearing me? Eh? I should have known when you were spoiling me with money that you had an evil motive. What is evil about one working hard for his birthright. Consider yourself a hero of traditional form. Oh, I want those documents, Jonathan. I give them to you on trust. Now your sister has seen me as I, I, I had conspired with you. The documents you asked for, Uncle, are in a place where even I cannot reach. I can't reach them anymore. Ah! 
You ruined yourself hmm? listening to tradition jargons and traditional jingoism. I expected much more from you. Now that he has the documents, he has the properties. Uh, but we still have the will to fall back on. With a will, we can go to court. Forget it now. Let me bend the picture for you. He has the deed. He's the only son. He has operated your father's business for over a decade. He, yes I know he can. If he forges another will and presents it to the court, voila, your case will be thrown out of the court. But you are our father's lawyer. The judge should know that you have the original documents. Except if your father speaks from his grave. What made you think that he cannot convince the judge that his father changed counsel before he died? He's a smart one. Oh my God. I know what he can do. We can do this in peace. Or we can do it in pieces. No matter how you look at it, the real truth is it's mine, mine forever. All mine, mine it will be. It's mine. <laughs> Before I become a laughing stock at home. Uncle, uncle, please. Don't undo the good things you've already done. I'll pay the bribe, even though I know it's a waste of money. Uh, my son, I think it has gone beyond that. Not this personal lap. One down the other way. Uh, that is one spot. And coke. Okay. Is, your, is your mommy home? She's home. Good girl. Very nice. Good. Oh, hurry. Hmm? Bye bye. That the madam at the other end. Oh man. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Good afternoon, my mother. Good afternoon. I cannot believe you're finally gone back to Jonathan. You, the devil lives in you. As a matter of fact, you are the devil. What have I done this time around? Will you people ever give me peace? Eh? Since you have lost every sense of conscience, you will not rest. You have decided to wake up the sleeping baby. You will never sleep again. You won't rest, no? Jonathan. You don't know what you did, Abby. Jonathan. So, you have become the devil personified. I cannot believe that a child from the same womb as I can descend to this level of wickedness. Uncle, believe me. This time around, I don't have an idea what they are talking about. Believe me, I don't know. Mwana, I could take and read. Read and see what you have done. All in the name of our updated tradition. Look at it. Hey! 
There must be a mistake here. Jonathan, the girls are right. You are a devil. Now I know you are evil. Hey! I don't know you again. Don't know you again, short. Let, let me explain. Explain what? I did tell them to do this. Hey! There must be a let me explain. Jonathan, you are lying, Jonathan. I, I swear. I you swear for what? What manner of man are you? Swearing and begging women. What are you swearing for? Why are you begging them? Get me that young man. You don't understand. Why are you swearing? Why are you begging me? So, you have the mind to send higher assassins after my wife? Eh? Yes, Nketi! You want to wipe my family? Barrister, I asked you to help me clean up things. You ended up messing things so badly, so irreparably, I don't even know what to tell you. I, I carried out the brief as was instructed. I didn't ask you to tell them to pay rent on the family house. Sir, the brief said all your properties as documented in your deed. You went beyond the brief. You poured fuel on the burning fire. I'm sorry, sir, but those ladies came to my office. Those ladies are my sisters. That house is our family house. How can you ask them to pay rent on our family house? Ah! You, 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 you wouldn't blame it on me, sir. Oh, so you now blame me for giving you a job? Adima. Not at all, sir. I don't see this fire going wild. I would apologize to them and clean up things from them. Unless if there's more to it than I, I can see. If you only know what you have started by what you did. Your Majesty, when a rampaging serpent invades the cool and quiet burrow of a rabbit at noon, the rabbit beholds strange and wicked world. These are strong words, Magic. May the gods help you. May the gods help you. But what is it that's so serious? Your Majesty, my brother's children know a fratricide is erupted and I fear it's outcome. War, war, war everywhere. Hmm. I don't know what is wrong with these children of these days. I don't know. I don't know. And I'm sure the war is over as any as inheritance. Your Majesty sees beyond his nose. Hmm. 
Your Majesty, I'm so pained. For I am in the middle of it. Mazidika, do you know that I have to avert such a fratricidal war in three families in the last six months? I don't know the type of generations we have now. I don't know. Their parents gave them education, but they are so lazy that they try to kill themselves over their father's property. Eh? The property they know that with a little hard work they could own. Knowing fully well that their parents were not as educated. Your Majesty, when I look back, I wish I never intervened. Eh? The guests now see me as a violent. Majidika, your intervention was timely. Our ancestors could have been angrier with you if you had done nothing. Oh. But now, we are going to do something. Now. They have declared full scale war. And our only weapon now is that will. Our family lawyer said that our chances are slim. Slim. The only way it will be slim is if he produces another will, which you and I know he doesn't have. And with Uncle Norbert's testimony, a good lawyer will be able to convince the judge easily. Sister, I agree with you. The judge will believe an old man like him. Judges don't act on sentiments. Ha, sister, are you not scared of the court? I am not scared of anything. It's just that they don't give justice. It, it's based more on technicalities than morality. Don't, don't you understand? I just don't sister, go happy her. Leave that thing. When we get to that bridge, we will cross it. Just go to Uncle Norbert, get the deeds from him the way you gave it to him. And he will go to Jonathan and get the deeds from him the way he gave it to him. But I'm not I don't know why you're scared. I, I, I don't know what you're scared. Oh, just now we're here first. We're here. I'm not going to go. Um, before you present your cases, I must remind you that the spirits of our forefathers are here present. Therefore, do not dishonor them by presenting falsehood. Hmm? Okay, we can now speak. Thank you, Your Majesty. Your Majesty. Sit down, woman. Say, sit down. Why should she sit down? Are you mad? Okay, okay. I am not mad. Men are here to speak first. Don't you know that she is the first child of Wesene? And then? So and so okay. what? So she has the right to speak. Okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Um, Mazio Konko and uh, okay. Yeah, this is fine. Loretta, go ahead. Thank you once again, Your Majesty. A few weeks before my father passed on, he retrieved the deeds of the properties from his lawyer and handed everything over to me. He went ahead to change his will, sharing all his properties amongst my sisters and I. Iwe, may you live long. It was to allow the peace Uncle Norbert preached to us, B, that we decided to let the lawyer pay the shop rent money into Jonathan's account. What more could we have done? Your Majesty, may your reign be long on the throne of your ancestors. Igwe, I don't understand what they are saying. My father did the right thing as demands by custom and tradition. He willed everything to me. Hey! Will Guinea, what are you talking about? He's a liar. You are a liar, Jonathan. He will. He deceived us. He deceived us. He came to us. He gave us large sums of money. Millions of naira. We didn't know it was a bait. And we took it, swallowed it, hook, line, and sinker. Unyoshi. 
Hi! You go. She's right. Look at this boy. Mm. Eh? He has disappointed his father, his late father. Made mess of the hard end reputation of SN. Eh? He has also betrayed me before his other sibling. You were. I was even the one who personally handed those documents to him. Eh? After he also deceived me. Hey! Oh! As in there, how I wish my brother were to be alive! Igwe, you can now see. It is obvious that my uncle and my sisters have conspired to rob me violently of my inheritance. What was conspiracy? 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 Norbert, you will. Did you hear this young man say that you and his sisters are conspiring to deny him of his inheritance? You will, with due respect, this boy is a bundle of disappointment. In fact, he has tarnished the image of our family. I don't have much to say, but the death that killed my brother is in there. <laughs> it will. Okay. You made your point. This matter is getting me more confused every minute, every day. Hmm? There's something I want us to do. About what? Did you think she threatened your life after the case at the, at the palace today? Oh, that. Well, she was just making empty threats, that's all. Nothing to worry about. Baby, I don't understand you these days. This is the second time she's threatening your life over the same issue. And you keep telling me not to worry. <sighs> so, what do you want me to do? Hmm? Go to the police, make a report. Let the police compile them to come and sign an undertaking. No, it hasn't gotten to that level. Relax. They, they won't do anything. I have said my own name. No, don't let it bother you. Okay? Don't let it bother you. <laughs> I shouldn't let it bother me. Relax. They won't do anything. Okay, Chief. Yeah. I shouldn't let it bother me. I'm gonna find me threatening again. Fire menka, fire menka. Nothing. Don't let it bother you. It's okay, relax. It's I have told you. I won't get you guy, I won't. Okay, I don't want it, but let me start by saying that uh, I'm highly disappointed in your generation. During our old time, our father left for us farmlands. We didn't fight over them. Rather, we worked on them to create a better life for you, better than we had. Those of us who migrated to the cities worked very hard and became successful just mm -hmm. like your father. Don't know why you are fighting over another man's way. Igwe, we do respect. I want to go over the fact of this matter before them. Just as I did before you and the chief. Mazidika, there's no use. The facts are the same everywhere. The male child trumpeting tradition and culture to hide his greed. Igwe. 
With due respect, it appears that you have already judged me before hearing the matter. Young man, I can see, I see that you are trying to hack down a tree and I know where it's going to fall. Let me ask you, could you before me the custodian of your culture and tradition as well as the collective conscience of the people, could you before me just make one wise decision? Go home and obey your father's wish. Igwe, you brought us here to adjudicate on a matter. Yes, but I'm giving you a more honorable option. Take your sister home and uh, do what your father said. A young man. Igwe, why do you choose to believe my sisters and disbelieve me? Young man, I've read the way and uh, I know how you tricked on suspecting uncle, surrendering the deed to you. Igwe, please permit me, but I must say that you have judged me wrongly based on the false information fed you by my sisters. Now it behoves on you, the custodian of culture and tradition of our people, in your exalted place as the Igwe of this town, to dispense justice with equity, clarity, and without passion. I believe that there is a strong, high-level conspiracy against me taking possession of the properties that my father willed to me before he passed on. Young man, there is no conspiracy anywhere. I have the photocopy of the way. I have the original document. You can see. I don't know where they got for the copies that they gave to you when my father's new lawyer gave me this original document before I came here. These are two different documents. No bet. You will. You will. You will. You will. Um, my messenger will inform you of the next date of the meeting. Meanwhile, the meeting stands adjourned to enable me to uh, have a closer look of the document subjected to a medical analysis. Try and understand. We are doing the right thing. We? Yes. We? We are doing the right thing. I don't know you anymore. I don't know you anymore. But I know I'm doing the right thing. We are doing the right thing. So if doing a little wrong can bring out the right thing, why don't we continue, Uncle? Jonathan. Jonathan. Get away from me. Get away from me! You are evil, increases by the day. One day you will have the flesh of your sisters in your pot. Uncle, you are getting the whole thing wrong. You are getting it wrong. See, why don't we do this like, like family? Did you say family? Of course. You said family. No more family. Everything is now in the public domain.
matter what they say, no one can take what's mine away. It's mine, mine forever. You went to war with women, with complete armor, returned looking like a jelly. Who got to mind your words? I'm not in a good mood, you hear me? Oh, it's written all over you. <laughs> okay, tell me. What do I do to make you be in the mood? Okay, come with me. Come with me to the bedroom. Get serious, woman. It looks like you don't know it. We are at war. Would you have all it takes to win? What is bothering you? Didn't the Igwe believe that he who has the deed has the correct will? The Igwe didn't say anything. He just fixed another session. What about those? I mean, your sisters and uncle. They were stunned. Speechless. Couldn't utter a word. They all kept mute and avoided me like a plague. And to, to, to worsen matters, Uncle Norbert now said that we are no longer family. Oh yes. That was the deepest painful part. The silence and the threat. Then cheer up. You have defeated your enemies. Come on, baby, let's celebrate. It's not over yet. Oh yes, it's not over. The Igwe may resort to using traditional... Damn it! Damn it, baby! Don't worry. I thought about that. I have a man who can make you invisible to the lesser spirit to your gods and ancestors. He operates in a higher spiritual realm. Uh -huh. <laughs> you see, the spirit of the Lord caused me to stay longer than I planned on the last day in the mountain. And he told me at this point in time that you people will be here. Mm. My sisters, you see, if you look at everything happening in your family, even with your physical eyes, you must agree with me that something somewhere is not right. I told you I saw you in a cage. But later, the enemy took your portion. I saw the Lord and he told me that we should all go to the mountain for three whole days. And after that, your victory shall be certain. The battle has now gone tougher and it will take only the Lord to fight for you while you hold your peace. Just like the scripture said, Exodus chapter 14 verse 14, I shall fight for you, the Lord shall fight for you and you shall hold your peace. I still wonder how you managed to know a place like this. Eh? A couple ought to be wise in the things of life for a couple to succeed. It's scary. It's scary. I mean, it's like a cult house. It depends on your choice of words. This is a temple of progress. Temple of what? Temple of progress for those who are wise. Do you have the money? Yes, my lord. Kasam! 
Kong, eh? follow me. Fortunately, Pastor, the next session at the palace is in five days. Praise the Lord. God is never late, always on time. Let us stand for prayers. Father, in the name of Jesus, Amen. say that the lawful captive shall be delivered. Say, I will contend with them that contend with thee, and I will save the children. Open your mouth right now, begin to condemn every tongue that rises against you and your family right now. Lord, we condemn every tongue that rises against this family, Lord. In the name of Jesus, we decree your authority and your dominion and supremacy over this family, Lord. Decree that though we form whatsoever action against them, that shall prosper. Every tongue that rises against them, judgment is already condemned in the name of Jesus. Father, I ask, O oh Lord, that you be a hedge of protection around about this family, Lord. Be the wall of protection over this family, Lord. And life I declare. Magrabosa in the Lagashi Nebo, Magri in the De Seba de Kete Shalagabade, Maru in the Nebo de Shakalaba. Lord, I ask that you build a hedge of fire round about this family, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Cover them, they are going out and coming back. Lord, we cover them with the blood of Jesus Christ. We declare that. And the fathers that have been before him also the world. I have acted to correct what I considered your mistakes. Now, see the kind of a wildfire that has ignited. Is in the air. Speak from your grave. Speak. Only you, and you alone, knows the truth.
my lord is troubled. I've always known that uneasy lies the head that wears the crown. The crown weighs even heavier when you are faced with a situation that requires the wisdom of nations. The children of Ezra and Nidika, right? Yes. The girls have one will. And the boy, one will, another will. Meaning somebody is lying. That's my body. Who is truthful and who is telling lies? My lord, sometimes in this matter, there's no need to know. How can I judge rightly if I do not know? How can? Don't judge, my lord. The spirits of their fathers will judge them when the time comes. Hmm. But I must do something. In three days. Yes, my lord, you will. You will advise them like a royal father. Share the properties equitably amongst them. Whoever that rejects your advice is the wolf among the sheep. Hmm. I wish they are right. I mean, I hope they will take your advice. I hope they will take My lord, you have three days. And I will be busy myself. Okay? From here. Let's go. Let's take rest. I have expected you come with your sisters. Uh, I am sorry. They couldn't make it. Um, I had to be personally excused from a very important family meeting to honor your invitation. Oh, thank you very much. You're welcome. What is this family inheritance that deprives my lord his nitrous? Has it nearly the good life? Lola, I am ashamed of everything. My father did not begin for this. I am sure that every time this topic is mentioned, he turns in his grief. And I too grieve in my heart. I understand. I understand, my dear. You see, I have gone over the first of the matter over and over again with my lord. And I have concluded that you guys won't be lying. But he is still your flesh and blood. My flesh and blood? He forged my father's signature and changed his will so that everything would belong to him. Each day that passes, I sit and wonder if my mother was unfaithful to my... Don't go there, my dear. Don't just go there. <laughs> you see, here in this palace, I have seen the good, the bad, and the ugly, all from the same womb, fighting like avowed enemies. But everything still goes, okay? I don't believe he is one of us. He is, my dear. Now listen. No matter how long a family fights, they will always come together to make peace. Especially when there's an external aggression. So take my piece off. Have me peace and I'll show you. She has accepted to share the properties with your husband. But I called you instead because I believe a woman is the will that turns the neck of a man. Think about it. Peace is better than war. At war, there are many casualties. But foolish is the man that goes to war before he goes to the peace round table. Thank you, Your Majesty. I've heard what you said. I will let my husband know. No, my dear. This is between us. Just make your husband see reasons for peace to reign so that the soul of his father will rest in peace. I've heard you, Your Majesty. I'll do as you said. And I assure you, my dear, that you won't regret it. But remember, those who sow the seed of peace always reap joy and multiple peace. Thank you, Your Majesty. Mm -hmm. you. Thank you very much. I think I should be aware of it. Okay. Thank My you. regards to your husband.
sing of the Lord. From heaven come down, let the anointing of the Lord come down. Oh, let the Spirit of the Lord come down. Oh, the of the Lord come down. Amen. Oh, let the Spirit of the Lord come down. In Jesus' name, let the Spirit of the Lord from heaven come down. Let the Spirit of the Lord come down. Let the power of the Lord come down. Amen. Let the power of the Lord come down in Jesus' name. Oh, let the power of the Lord from heaven come down. May the power of the Lord come down in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Isaiah chapter 54, verse 17. He said, No weapon, fortune against you shall prosper. Amen. And every tongue that rises against you, judgment is condemned. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In Zechariah chapter 2, verse Woo. 5, he said, For I, says the Lord, will be a world of fire round about her. Amen. And the glory of the Lord will be in their midst. Amen. Open your mouth right now and begin to condemn every tongue that is rising against this family, every opposition to this family. Open your mouth and begin to cast them down, begin to find them now, right now. Magrabu se in the lebu she katalaba. Megu se in the glabu. Shakalaba in the glabu she katayaba. Every tongue rising against this family. Lord, we bind them. We bind them. In the name of Jesus. We declare their power powerless. We declare their power powerless. We decree, Lord, their counsel shall not stand. In the name of Jesus. Magari Buse in that Kabushi Kalabadi. Makari Buse in the Buse in that Kadishi in the Buse Shikaba. Lord, we fight. We condemn every tongue rising against this family, oh Lord. Daughters of Zion, I decree peace unto you. I decree peace to this family. I decree peace unto these daughters of Zion, Lord. No weapon whatsoever I shall against them, I shall prosper. Lord, I decree that you build a wall of fire around about them, oh Lord. No weapon for you against them, ever prosper. Maru Ze in the Glabo Shikatalaba. Ze Glebo in the Rebo de Shakalaba de Shilaba. Lord, I decree. So, how did it go? I was aching to remind her how she stood with her husband when they fought him for the throne. I just don't have time for royal interference at all. I don't have their time. She wants to be seen to be doing her work. Nonsense. So what exactly does she want? She wants peace at our expense. Mbano. She wants us to share the property. War is not good. Blah, 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 blah. All real lies. Kings are the ones who beat the war drum and fight the actual war before they ascend their throne. Yes. And maybe, maybe. They don't have anything to offer. We Hachi. We don't have to worry about them. We don't have to. On the don't do for doing job. We do put them up Belazo. That's what they are. That was how it was all arranged. Uh, hold on, let me talk to my wife, please. Just, just cut, the, cut your line. Let me, let me talk to my wife, okay? All right. Hello, dear. Who is this? What are you doing with my wife's phone? Eh? Who are you? What? Please. What happened? Talk to me, talk to me, please. I'm the husband. Someone tried to assassinate my wife? Why? How? When? when, when? Sorry, where is she now? The hospital? Which, which hospital? Okay. Okay, okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Hello? Officer? Officer? This is Jonathan. Jonathan is in there. Somebody tried to assassinate my wife, and I know who. 
Yes, I know who is behind that. I know who. Please, officer, you know I can't take the laws into my hands. Come to number six, Abel Street now. The culprit is there, please. I'm waiting. Yes, I'm waiting for you there. Please. Yeah, number six, Abel West Street. Urgently, urgently, please. Thank you. to send higher assassins after my wife. Eh? Yes, Nketi. You want to wipe my family away. Is that it? And you kneel here on this, this knees pretending to be praying. What is it again, Jonathan? Won't you just leave us alone? After all the atrocities you committed against us? She is the one who has committed the worst atrocity. She sent assassins after my wife. She's now lying critically wounded in the emergency unit of the hospital. Brother, are you sure you're not making a mistake? <coughs> because she has been praying here with me for the past two years. Quiet! You are the biggest pastor I've ever seen in my entire life. Look at you! What are you doing with murderers? What? Officer, this is the culprit. The in fact, she hired them. She take her away. Jonathan. I told you I saw her in the cage. But then I saw her in the cage. Jonathan, I have been eating. The victory is shot. Somebody pray. Jonathan, I have been eating. Please. Open up, Roman. Jonathan. If not for one thing. Jonathan. If not for one thing. Jonathan, I have been eating. If not for one thing. Jonathan. If not. Jonathan, I have been eating. If not. We can do this. If not. If not. We can do this. Hey. Pass up. 
My dear, you have nothing to worry about. I've spoken to the doctor. He tells me that we don't have anything to worry about. He says you'll be fine. Okay? Now, as soon as this whole thing is over, as soon as this air wind blows over, I will make sure that whoever is responsible, and I know who, will rot in jail. I can assure you that. Whoever is responsible will rot in jail. Okay? Now, sleep. Sleep, my dear. So, you are going to the village? Yes. Be very careful. God will go with you. Amen. If you are going, you are going to come back with testimony. Yes. Let me pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I commit your daughter into your hands. Psalm 1, 2, 6. It says, those that go with tears shall come back rejoicing with testimony. Amen. Go well, and it says, it well with you. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. God bless you. Bless you too, Peace Pastor. Well. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much. What we are saying is this. If they have refused the peace terms initiated by the Queen, we will be left with no other option than to let tradition follow its full course. You speak like one who cannot see beyond his nose. Can't you see that this matter has gone beyond tradition and culture? Huh? Crime has been committed. Judgment must follow. Young man, for the last time, I'm asking you, are you prepared to hear the voice of wisdom and accept the Queen's peace package? Igwe, I wish I could, but then I'm torn between obeying my father's will because I'm the only son and the people, ordinary men, I choose to obey his will. Igwe, can you swear on his grave? that what you are having is his will. Are you willing to swear? Uh, uh, are you? Uh, I, I... Yes, I, I will. I, 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 Leave him alone. I don't want to hold him. Where are you? Huh? Leave him. He has chosen to dance surugede. He will through tears and sorrow learn that the surugede is the dance of the spirits. Huh? I don't want to hold you. Where are you? Where are you? Come here. Hello. Igwe. Abomination has been committed. We will revive him. To confess. Hey! 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 Papa, 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 please! Please! Papa, please! Uh, yeah, yes, I, 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 I will tell them. I. I forged. I forged the documents. Yes, I, I forged the documents, and I tricked Uncle Robert to, to give me the deeds. Is that the deed. 
Yes. And the I said to Papa 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 Then after my wife my wife took me to a, a temple where they fortified oh. me. Oh. But you can see I'm not the I'm not the I'm not the I'm not the one I'm not the one There's a beam There's a beam inside me doing it I'm not the one Papa Biko Papa Biko Biko Ka 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 Biko, 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 Those who recommended you told me that you're a sharpshooter. Where do you want the bullet to hit you? You're not shooting me for Christ's sake. You're hitting my car. Just like an arranged assassination. Cool. 250k.
bastard! I don't fuck up, oh, Tiger, don't fuck up. Oh, oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! For nine years, nine whole years, how? Baby, I'm sorry. Baby, I'm sorry. 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 I'm you have arrested the assassin? You have? Okay. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. I, I, I'm so grateful. I'm grateful. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Somebody praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Shineke is on. Okay, I have no drum way to each and every one now. I do not know what to do. I come to your yard to make a blue nose. I make a little more than 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I'm sorry, baby. I'm sorry, baby. I'm sorry, baby. I'm sorry. Please me.